What's up guys? Okay y'all, we back at it again, DIY time. Okay, today I am doing a viewer's request DIY. And it's from Francis Haynes, Divine Life. I pray to God I said your name right. I'm gonna put the little request right here, right now. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? If y'all didn't, we wind that bad boy, pause it, read it. So basically, she was asking if I can look up to see how I could do a paper uh, lantern. Okay, y'all. I've always wanted to try to do a paper lantern, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Because y'all know, I like doing DIYs, number one, that is inexpensive. Number two is quick and easy. And did I say quick and easy? Because I don't like all them little technicals and got to do this, that, and the other. No, 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 no. So, I'm like, okay, I welcome this challenge. So, these are the supplies that I used for it. Tissue paper, which of course you get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, a carton of your choice. I'm pretty sure they got the bad boys at the Dollar Tree as well. Some lights. Some um, LED lights, which also we know, let's say it together, you get them at the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure y'all got them at Christmas time. And some scissors. And of course, Lord, how did I forget? Glue gun. So y'all, let's get started. Bam, okay y'all, the first thing you're going to do is take your milk carton or whatever carton of your choice and then you're gonna open it up like this. Of course, I'm gonna assume that you have already emptied your container, washed it out, and let it dry at least overnight. I still got water up in here as you can see. So I'm hard to hit it. So once you get it open, and we're gonna cut this top part out. Now, let me say something before I cut it off or before you cut it off. Now, if you want a taller lantern, you can keep it on, okay? And just go up the thing and just make it kinda cute up at the top. But for me, I'm gonna cut mine to make it neater. Okay, guys. Now I have scissors, as I said earlier, and an X-Acto knife. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the X-Acto knife. Okay, and this is simple, guys. Just cut down the steams, uh, steam, seams, edge, whatever. If you're gonna cut the top off. Just cut it to, um, I'll show you. Okay, let's, I'm trying to concentrate on you. Just cut, like, cut that much to that point and then bend it down bend it down bend it down bend it. this is just so you can have a cleaner cut and then you're gonna cut these flaps off boom okay once you have your top all nice and cut then we're gonna take the exacto knife now this part guys please please be careful now you can pre mark it before cutting it I'm gonna freestyle okay guys do I recommend you freestyling it really no because you want it to be more precise but for this demonstration I'm hard hit it once again so let me show you something though you going you're not gonna want you want the structure so you just want like a rectangle in the middle. So I'm gonna start like right here. Boom, boom. Jesus, do the cutting tool. And I'm gonna just show you how. You have to make it more neater if you do it freestyle like me. Don't do it freestyle like me. So you're gonna want to like cut up to this part to that part so basically we're just making little kind of like windows so that's as much as I do with that I just like to get it started with the uh, exacto knife and then I use the scissors Boop. Boop. 
again, you're gonna have a little flap. I wanna even it up some, but you get the gist. So all we're doing is cutting a little section out so we can keep the structure. So I'm gonna finish doing this on all the sides and I will return. Alrighty guys, I finished cutting out all my sides. Boom, okay. So one thing I did forget to mention, spray paint. So y'all already see this is not the cutest box or what have you. So once you finish cutting your box, then you spray paint it the color of your choice. You want it to be a little brassy, gold, what have you. I'm just doing black, okay guys? Also, you're gonna need some type of string to hang the lantern. So you could use um, Father Lord Jesus, I don't recall, you already know. You use this type of string. <laughs> Or even a tinsel uh, tie or pipe cleaner. And of course, like I showed y'all in my eyelash eye video, you can spray paint this any color you have. Um, you know, what have you. So you can use whatever string you want. So make sure you have those materials as well. So I'm gonna spray paint this bad boy and I will be back. Alrighty, while your spray paint is drying on your container, then you take um a piece of tissue paper once again any color that you would like it does not matter whatever theme you're trying to go for so you just take the full sheet of tissue paper and then we're going to cut it in um like four pieces four pieces yeah so you're going to just cut it down cut it halfway cut it halfway yeah <laughs> Cut it in half is what I was trying to say, Lord. And once again, it don't have to be perfect because Lord knows this is so not perfect. You gotta get the, gotta get the picture. Cut it in half and then cut it in half again. Line them up together and then do your best. Now, of course, you could fold it, y'all. They want to be all neat and fabulous. But come on, guys. It's crafts, baby. So once you have your, um, your cut, then you're going to take two, the two halves, and then we're going to uh, accordion fold them, <laughs> or fan fold them, whatever word choices that you, you like to use. You're just going to fold it, fold it, fold it. Boom. And so then, bunch it up, and then we're gonna pull it up some kind of way. <laughs> yeah, y'all already know. You try to do stuff on camera, didn't want to act a fool on you, man. All right, let me pull it up like that on both sides. I hope y'all still can see it, cause this is what y'all wanted to get. Okay. So you pull that bad boy up. Now if you want a fuller flower, of course you know you can add more tissue paper. But for me, I didn't want it that full. And I just tore it, bam. But that's how you do it. And you squeeze it out. Alrighty. So once you have your your uh, crumpled up properly, then you're just gonna take your glue gun, add the little dabble right here. Can y'all see the dabble? Boom. See the dabble? Yes. And then make them kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. And then let it dry, guys. Guys, once you have spray painted your container, and of course it dried, the next step is quite easy. You're gonna add your little flowers. So you can just add a little dab up here and on the sides. You already know this thing over here can fool with me, right? Okay. 
can take your first flower and just put a lemon. I suggest doing three to make it full, guys. And so you just continue down the path by placing the glue on, on there. How cute is that already? And there you have it, guys. I added all the little scrunched up flowers. Now you see that one sheet actually make what two flowers so you don't need that even that much tissue paper to complete this project so then you, way to go then you take your string of your choice and then you just you're going to apply it on your box you already know it's when you play <laughs> you're just gonna tie it like you would you know I'm just gonna make a knot guys and like I said, you can use any string that you would like. I'm just making a knot. Try not to tear it, because you want it to be cute. So now you have your string attached, as you see. And now, last step. Add your lights. I'm leaving my lights on the cardboard, but you, before you can add the, the flowers, you can wrap it around your thing, but I didn't wanna do all that. So I'm just inserting it just like this. So that way I can take it out and take it in at the same time. And you still get the same amount of light. I decided to hang it from this tree that I just explained to y'all in a previous video just so y'all can see it actually hanging. Now, if you want it bigger, you can add maybe even a bigger box or another carton together and then make it larger. You can also add more of the tissue paper, the flower tissue paper. So have at it, you know, customize it to your liking and to what you need it to be. So that's my lantern, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hook me up with a thumbs up. See you guys next Friday.